What's up, y'all? My name is Kenny. We are back with another episode of Pokemon Beta Spotia with our team. As you can see up there as well as over there, we have our Weavile Life or Weavile. We have a Citrus Berry Slurp Up. We have Choice Spec Jolteon. We have Choice Scarfed um, Excadrill or Edna. Uh, and then uh, we have Mega Gyarados with Dragon Lance. And then we have our Volcarona, which I brought a couple weeks ago. But you know what? It fit really well with this team, so I'm bringing it back. So, uh, we have Kangaskhan, Talonflame, Tyranitar, uh, Suicune, Whimsicott, and Magneton out of the blue. So, mm, definitely not your typical, uh, battle spot team, but definitely more, uh, typical than I've seen. So, I kind of want to bring Gyarados, um, to intimidate anything that wants to come in, and then Jolteon, um, and then... Either Excadrill or Slurpuff. Uh, the Talonflame scares me a bit. Alright, Gyarados is definitely starting. Then I'm bringing Jolteon. Uh, but then my problem is that Magneton. So I kind of... Like, I want to bring Volcarona, but Volcarona literally doesn't really hit anything else. Um, and that Brave Bird, of course, scares me. Um, so Slurpuff does have... Um, Drain Punch, but you know what? No, I'm bringing Excadrill. Um, oh, jeez, I forgot to edit their moves. I'm gonna have to do that this uh, after this battle, but Excadrill still has Rapid Spin, so we're gonna have to change that up a little bit. Um, give it, give it like X or something useful, because you know, uh, there was that one battle I had where I used Edna, and she, she, uh, you know, um. She, she got that win with that surprise x scissor or that Hydreigon. So, you know. You know what? Things like that can have its niche uses. And, you know, Rapid Spin and Battle Spot is literally useless. So, that is why we need a different move for that slot. So, cut in. Karen. Karen, as you might say. But cut in. Is here. And she is bringing her game she is bringing her game and she is starting now not with the gyarados because i'm starting that that nice and hiroshima and you are starting with whimsicott Ooh, that really sucks because i can't set up on you at all i can iron head you i'm not gonna mega evolve i can iron head you and just see how much it does and then just switch out. I'm gonna iron head you and then see how much it does and switch out. Um, you obviously can't encore me. I can't dragon this because then I get encored and. We're gonna first turn wake. We are gonna first turn wake right now. Right now! Don't switch into something favorable. Grass Whistle Landing! Turn one of episode like 118? I don't know. Moon Blast, you're gonna predict the Mega Evolution, but no Mega Evolution. That's not gonna do too much because it is just a Whimsicott. Ooh, that actually did a lot more than I thought. <gasps> Special Attack Drop! Oh my goodness. Um, and we're gonna see the withdrawal because Moonblast isn't doing a lot and I'm not mega evolving, so we're actually gonna see the Suicune come in. Um, no, that's definitely intriguing because I kind of want to set up and I kind of don't. Because you could Scald Burn me right here. Bum, bum. That's it, I'm setting up. Dragon Dance, let's go. Let's go! Get that bulk from the Mega Evolution. We're gonna Mega Evolve. Obviously, I'm gonna Mega Evolve with a Grass Fairy out in the field. Look at that mad lobster! Look at that mad trip lobster! So, we're gonna break the mold. You don't even got no pressure. You're gonna call mine. I'm gonna Dragon Dance. You're gonna call mine. I'm gonna Dragon Dance. You're gonna call mine. I'm gonna Dragon Dance. That's correct! And if Gyarados does end up going down, then we do still have our um, Jolteon. Uh, the Whimsicott definitely can scare me out at this point. Um, 
So we're going to crunch it up. And I'm expecting that to do at least 50%. So I want that to a KO. I want that to hit KO. I want it so bad. Come on. To hit KO. That's what I like to see. Oh, we see a roar. Well, either of my mons are okay. Perfection. Perfection. All right. So we're going to... Uh, but he's calm minded up once. So can a Volt Switch take him out? I kind of have to Thunderbolt at this point. I kind of have to Thunderbolt at this point. Um, so the Roar definitely bit my opponent in the asshole. Asshole! Not even the ass, just the asshole. Not The donkey's like all the way over there, but his asshole's got bit. So I'm going to Thunderbolt, and that should take him out even though he's at plus one, because I have a Specs Jolteon! So underestimate Specs Jolteon. That is correct, ladies and gentlemen. I kind of, I wish I was able to Volt Switch. Um, because now we're gonna see the Gar Garuda. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. And I lost my Intimidate. You know, I wish Mold Breaker just canceled out abilities. Like, and then just Parental Bond just wouldn't work. That would be so awesome. I think so. At this point, I think I have to go on out into Excadrill. And just EQ it up. EQ it up! Because we don't see a Talent Flame, which is great. Um, and we're obviously going to see the fake out here, or we're just, we might just see an, uh, earthquake. Ooh. Oh, that might just be a little bit bad. That might just be a little bit bad. Oh, we're going to see the drain punch predicting the extra drill. Ooh, that was a perfect switch. Uh, or not a switch, a perfect prediction. Ah. Uh. Uh, and the crit obviously didn't matter because basically the Mega Kang has gone every single attack of its is a crit. And, um, actually, it probably predicted my Gyarados. But now that I know you have. Oh, jeez, this is bad because Gyarados went on speed without a driving dad. Um, I don't think Gyarados can live a Dream Punch. I shouldn't have switched directly into Excadrill. I think I lose now. Uh, Gyarados, if I switch into Gyarados here, he Drain Punches, and I think he takes me out. If I switch into Jolteon... Yeah, my only hope is that Gyarados can live a hit. But I really, really doubt it. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. If I didn't Mega Evolve... Oh. If I just didn't Mega Evolve, that would be that would be so good. That would have been so good. Cause I would still have my fighting immunity, I could switch into Gyarados, I could intimidate. Oh my gosh. Could have set up on this guy for days. But now I'm scared. I mean, my only hope is that I Dragon Dance and live. I outspeed! Miss plays for days. Woo! All right, so I lose. That was a complete mistake. That was a 100% complete mistake. That was 100% the worst mistake of my life. Ah, uh, going for that. Because he can just double as me and kill me here. I mean, I'm gonna Thunderbolt. Even if, even if for some reason I crit and take him out, uh, I don't think I'm taking out the Whimsicott with the Thunderbolt. I, I have to go for Thunderbolt here because it even with, and he's just gonna Drain Punch, which is probably gonna kill me anyways. It does. Oh my gosh! If I crunch, no, because even if I crunch, he would have just Drain Punched it all back. So that's why uh, it made no sense in case I, it, it, even if I went for an attack, I wouldn't have one shotted. There's no way. Maybe? Maybe I would have gotten a crit. Ah, uh, He got a crit! Like, twice! Maybe I could have gotten a crit! Oh my gosh. Good job, me! Alright! We're going in for another battle here. We're gonna, we're gonna put that battle behind us. Behind us. And that's toward the screen. So we're gonna put it right down here. Just stay down! No! Alright, there we go. I'm gonna try better this time. We're gonna try better this time and maybe not fail as hard because failing hard is just kind of sucky, you know? 
You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just not a good time for anyone. Karomia, 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 Karomia is from Shizuoka with Meow Stick. Oh man, Glaciana, Zumro, Haxorus, Lucario, and Zorok. So Excadrill is coming like without a doubt. Um, the Azumarill scares me. Uh, without a doubt. Uh, so Gyarados is coming again. Excadrill is coming again. Uh, the Meowstic with Prankster uh, makes me. I think I'm bringing Volcarona despite the Azumarill. I think I'm bringing Volcarona. Oh, jeez. The Azumarill scares me a lot. Because I don't have a lot to take it. Gyarados is the only Pokemon, and even then, I can't Mega Evolve. Um. I can bring Jolteon, but yeah, Aqua Jet. I could bring Slurpuff. Slurpuff. Mm, nothing can take an Aqua Jet except Gyarados, so I have to bring Gyarados. Have to bring Volcarona and Extra Drill. I think I'm doing that. You know what? I think I'm gonna start with Volcarona. I'm gonna start with Volcarona, because I have no idea what you're gonna start with, but you might just want to start with Azumarill, so. And you might just Aqua Jet me, and Volcarona will die. Well, if you start with Volcar, I mean, if you start with Zoomerill, then I switch into Gyarados. I get the Intimidate off, and really hope that you don't Belly Drum. Um, and then Lucario, okay. Lucario, okay. Now, I think I can Quiver Dance here. I think I can Quiver Dance here. I think I can Quiver Dance here. Mega Lucario. Don't have Rock Slide. A close combat shouldn't kill me. I outspeed naturally. Now, an Earthquake might bring me down to the point where an E speed kills, though. CC. Not very effective. I have lefties. Will Extreme Speed take me out? See, close combat with adaptability goes up to 240. So cut in half, that's 120. So E Speed might take me out. I'm gonna go for Fiery Dance. I kind of have to at this point. Um, but E Speed. It's not enough to take me out! Hell, Leftovers! Woo! Alright, that is absolutely beautiful. Fiery Dance is obviously gonna one shot this Lucario. Oh my gosh! But, uh, if he brought the Azumarill, then he's gonna go into it right now. There's, like, no questioning about it. There's no questioning about it. Uh, he's gonna go into the Azumarill. But he doesn't have the Azumarill. Alright, so, Haxorus is here. Uh, Bug Buzz is neutral? Bug Buzz is neutral. Haxorus doesn't have the best special defense. Now the question is, can I outspeed you? Can I outspeed you? Can I outspeed you? I'm actually gonna fire a dance, praying for that special attack boost. <gasps> I can outspeed you! Plus one, fire a dance, take him out. There we go, Onono Kusu. Wow, that is a crazy Haxorus name. And we're not gonna get the boost. Oh my goodness. Two fiery dances and no boost. Volcarona coming through! I don't care that I'm bringing it. Uh, right after I just brought it to Beta Smoshi. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care! We're going to bug buzz this thing! And the match was forfeited. So! Oh my gosh, Volcarona just coming in and sweeping the competition. That was beautiful. The second that I live that E speed, oh my gosh! Alright, we're going in for a third battle! Going in for a third battle. And you better be ready, because this is Bayless Boshia. Speaking of tales, um, anyone notice that Edna is named after Edna from Tales of Zestiria? Because I just finished that game. And anyone who knows the Tales series, must think that Tomohiko from Kyoto is a freaking scrub with his Gorbis, his Heracross, his Klefki, Espeon, Salamence, and Rotom. Alright, so, like I was saying, Zestiria, I just finished the game, kinda disappointed by it. T other Tales games were definitely better. So, 
Uh, Slurpuff is 100% coming because it takes out Salamence and Heracross. Um, unfortunately, I don't think Weavile is getting any action today. Um, and remember that time when I said that I was going to switch up moves? Yeah, I never did that. So Escudro still has Rapid Spin, so that's kind of fun. But I don't think Ice Scissor would come in handy anyways because they're Scarfed. Uh, Earthquake would be better in every situation. I'm bringing you, that's for sure. Uh, Escudro, Slurpuff. And... Um... I'm tempted to bring Vocal Rona again. Because Bug Buzz, Fiery Dance, and Giga Drain does a lot of damage to those top four Pokemon. And then Ice Drill obviously can take out Ronum Heat. And Salamence is Slurpuffs. You know what? That sounds like a great, great uh, experience. That sounds like a great experience. So who do I think you're going to start with? Klefki? Ooh. I can't Quiver Dance on you, can I? No, you don't get Encore or anything. Uh, you just might set up a screen. Yeah, I'm gonna start, well, I could start Excadrill, no. Volcarona, Excadrill, Slurpuff. The whole, that right there. I don't even know if that's correct. Is that correct? That's a Steins Gate poster right there, that's for sure. That's for sure. I don't think I've ever, I, before, like, I've been in my room multiple positions, but I've never been in this position uh, back in the day. So, we're going to start off with Volcarona again, and we're going to see the Kushinglings, the Kushinglings, uh, that actually says Kurefi, Kurefi. Um, so, um, I'm afraid of your stuff, but I'm going to Quiver Dance. T-Wave. Great! So, as long as we're not fully paralyzed here, um, you won't be able to swagger me. As long as we're not fully paralyzed here... When you're, you're not going to be able to swagger me. Uh, I just realized what this entails. Oh my gosh. Fuck you, boy. I just really hoped he would just set up screens or something. And be, you know, like something. <gasps> He's actually going to switch out right into the Rotom Heat. No, into the Salamence. Okay. So he does, in fact, have the Salamence. And that definitely sucks. We got a plus one Fiery Dance off, uh, which is something or another. Uh, definitely something or another. That's actually definitely something or another. We get a plus two, uh, but we're not living a dragon type move. Uh, ooh, you're gonna mega evolve and just go for flying type attack, aren't you? He might also D dance. Because the switch is so obvious. I think I'm going to stay in because the switch is so obvious. The switch is so obvious because so I'm going to stay in. And we still have Excadrill with Earthquake for uh, any shenanigans that the Klefki wants to pull. So I think it should be okay. Okay, you're, you're just going to take me out. That's fine. Um, I want to go into Excadrill and just Rock Slide. Woo! Recoil! Um... But I also kind of want to go try going on the slurp up, but you can't take a double edge. So extra drills are ma'am, our ma'am, Edna, the little rock demon, and she's just gonna she's just gonna rock slide all over your face. You're gonna rock slide all over your face, and it's pretty obvious that you might switch into Klefki. Although you don't know I'm scarfed. Although switching it in right now is obvious I'm scarfed. So we're gonna see the clock key. That really stinks. Uh, are you really gonna? Are you really gonna swagger me right here? Well, I, my, my, my only choice is really to switch into Slurpuff because I can't just sit here and Rock Slide. I, only, I have two options. Rock Slide or Switch to Slurpuff. So. I let Volcarona go down and that might have been a bad idea. But you know what? Regrets? May, I might have them. Um, so you're going to Thunder Wave me here. I understand that. Uh, I have no idea if Thunder Wave is enough to like counteract on burden 
Oh, I'm screwed. Will we switch right into Salamence? No, there's no way, right? You're gonna set up a light screen. Okay, that's literally useless because I only have uh, extra drum in the back. So I'm gonna belly drum. Max attack. Citrus berry. Unburden. Now the question is, will I outspeed that damn Salamence? The Salamence can obviously just one-shot me. I don't think you're gonna switch right in. I think you're gonna... You're probably gonna foul play me here, which I should be able to live. Um, I mean, I understand it's a plus six foul play, but I resist it. <gasps> no! Also, right there, it shows the paralysis. Paralysis makes it so that the unburden literally means nothing. If we're getting outsped by a clef key, then obviously Salamis would outspeed us, so. That really stinks. And I can't even go for Earthquake. I have to go for Iron Head. I don't even know what your last Pokemon is, but it doesn't even matter because I can't go for Rock Slide on this thing. I won't do any damage. You're gonna Thunder Wave and Excadrill. That Para, dude. Oh my god, that does nothing. You're totally bold. You're so bold. Oh my gosh. You're gonna foul play me, and that's gonna do a lot of damage because I am offensive. Wow, that sucks! Clef Key! And I'm wearing a Kingdom Hearts shirt. You know what? I was asking for it. I'm wearing a Kingdom Hearts shirt. I was, I, like, look at this thing. It's just, it's just saying, hey! Give me a K! And you know what? This game gave me four. Look at those four keys jingling around. There was a reflect up. That's why. That's why. Iron Head was doing such bad poop. That's why Iron Head was doing such bad poop. Can we get a critical hit right here and just win? Get a critical hit right here, Edna. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Maybe I shouldn't have let Volcarona go down. Maybe I should have just switched out into... Uh, maybe I should have just switched out into Excadrill when that Salamence came in. Because, I mean, it was obvious- I mean, I didn't want it to Dragon Dance, that's the thing. Because if it Dragon Dance, then it would just literally sweep my entire team. So that was what I was afraid of. So that's why I let Volcarona go down. So I guess, it, in retrospect, I mean, it wasn't a bad decision. I didn't know that he was going to attack straight away. But I guess- I don't know. I can't believe that uh, Paralysis is more effective than- Because Unburden is times two. Um... Thunder Wave cuts it in half, and Klefki's slow, right? Who invests speed into a Klefki? Anyways, I'm wasting enough of your time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a comment below telling me what you enjoyed. And as always, leave a tip in the tip jar with the Octothor tip jars that says up there. Because tips help us become better battlers. So, until next time, Penguin Nation, out!